Hey guys, it's Caleb from Rock Blocks. Today, the mud flap fitment that we're going to be doing is on this 2020 Mini Cooper. It is the GP3 number 2794. So let's go ahead and get into that install. So here we have your front laid out. You'll get your front flap, you'll get your backing plate. You'll press in three number 10 flange nuts into that backing plate. You'll get an M6 by 16 millimeter screw. You'll get three number 10 half inch screws. You'll get four washers, a nylon clip, and an XL bracket. All right, so the tools you'll need for the install is a 19 millimeter. You'll use that to kind of help keep the nylon clips from spinning. You'll need a four millimeter Allen, a three millimeter Allen, an eight millimeter socket, and a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so now we're at the workbench or the work floor, and we're gonna go ahead and put the parts together that you'll need. This is the backing plate. What you'll want to do is press the number 10 flange nuts into the backing plate as such. And these flange nuts are on the back side, which will be facing the liner. So now that we've got that prepped, we're going to go ahead and mount our fender clip on here. You we'll take your nylon clip, put it on the textured side, the side with the logo. We're going to hold that using our 19 millimeter. Then we're going to take our 16 millimeter button head with a washer and secure that to the flap. Go ahead, get that started a couple of turns by hand. Then we're going to take our 4mm Allen key and fully tighten that to the flap. Alright, now that we've got the backing plate, we're going to go ahead and set these off to the side. We're going to grab our large L bracket and we're going to mount that to the bottom of the side skirt here. We're going to take our 8mm socket, remove the OEM screw. Now reusing the OEM screw, we're going to put it through the short arm with the big hole and orient the bracket like so. Alright, with that just snug, you're going to want to push that back all the way towards the liner as far as you can and then fully secure that. All right, now with that in place, we're going to take our backing plate and put it in here. We're going to put it behind the bracket, and then we're going to push the liner in and tuck that into the side skirt, aligning the inner hole with the hole on the bracket. With the bracket in place, we're going to grab our flap and our half inch number 10 screws, we're going to put a washer on it and we're going to start by mounting this inner mounting point. I'm going to go ahead get that started by hand and then we'll lift it up into position aligning the other mounting holes and use the remaining two number 10 screws. And we'll also get those started by hand. With the three lower mounting points in place we're going to take our upper portion of the flap, we're going to slide it in, align the flap so that it's flat with the fender, and we're going to pull it out so that that clip grabs the edge of the fender. With that in place, we can go ahead, adjust this, set it to our liking, and then lock those three screws down, and you're good to go. You can move on to the rear. All right, so here's what you're gonna get on for the rear. 
Uh, you'll get your rear flap, you're going to get four washers, you're going to get two nylon clips, you're going to get an inch and three quarter spacer, a three inch number 10 screw, and two M6 by 16 millimeter machine screws. Okay. So before we get to the actual install, we're going to go ahead and prep the flap for mounting. We're going to do the same as what we did on the front and mount two nylon clips on the textured side with the logo at this hole and at this hole. Repeating the same steps like we did on the front, taking our M6 button head, starting it by hand in there. We're going to hold on to the clip with our 19 millimeter, just by pinching it and keeping it in the groove. And we'll take our four millimeter Allen key, and we're just going to secure both those onto the flap. All right, now that we've got those both in place, we're going to go ahead and you'll want to bend this tab just past 90 so that it relaxes to a 90 degree. Now we're going to go ahead come to the back of the vehicle and we're going to remove this screw on the bottom of the fender right here. We'll use our 8 millimeter to get that removed and then we'll go ahead and get this, get this mounted. All right, now that we've got it mounted on the bottom and we've just got our flap hanging here, we're going to go ahead and remove the 8 millimeter screw from in here, just take our 8 millimeter socket, loosen that all the way up, alright, now we'll take that screw, we can set it off or put it in the parts bin, it's going to be replaced. Now we can take our longer screw with spacers and washers. So we'll put the washer on the screw, put the screw through the flap, put the washer on the inside, put our spacer on the inside, and then we're gonna go ahead and put that screw into the OEM insert where we just removed that screw from. Go ahead, get it started just by hand, just a couple of turns. Now with the flap up and in position, we're going to go ahead and push it and then make it so that it's flat up against the fender like we did the front and hold the bumper and pull those clips so that they clip the fender edge like so. Adjust it with any adjustment that you need, check for level. Now we're going to go ahead, secure this down and secure the bottom strip. that spacer up top is a rubber spacer you're not going to want to tighten it all the way down you're just going to want to compress it till the flap touches the liner now we'll take our eight millimeter adjust the bottom and tighten that fully all right there you go that's the install thanks guys for watching Hopefully you liked seeing the mini, hopefully you liked watching the install video, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching our install. Um, this car is super rad, it is one of 3,000 made, it is the Mini Cooper GP3. Um, it's got these ridiculous carbon fiber infused plastic fenders that just make the entire car stand out. Um, under the hood, I believe it has 301 horsepower and 331 torque. 
all coming from the two liter turbocharged engine underneath the hood. Um, it's got some crazy aerodynamic looking bits on it. It's got a nice big chin spoiler. It's got the big old rear spoiler on it. These crazy looking fenders that love and sticky tires that love to throw rocks up and get them caught into the grooves of the rear fender here. So that's why we decided to attack it and try and get some nice protection and some awesome looking flaps on this just to really make it stand out. It's got the iconic four spoke wheels continuing on with their like GP line. They've always had these crazy looking four spoke wheels. They have on the front, they've got a solid aluminum four piston caliper and these brakes are massive. I think they are so big that they that's what made them bump up, bump the wheel up to an 18 inch wheel, which is just crazy. The interior of this car is a nice place to be. It's got some sporty seats with some amazing bolstering. It only comes in an automatic, but you do get paddle shifters. It has this crazy gauge cluster pack right here that feels very race inspired. Uh, Overall, this is a quick car and it feels nice and nimble, just like any other Mini out there. Um, the small package, the way they tune their suspension, all comes together for a really fun experience inside the cockpit here. So overall, we had a really fun time designing the mud flaps for this and just being able to experience it. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you leave this video a like um, and stay tuned, these flaps will be available.